Okay, before I start today's Retro Watch and how to update Retro Watch guide, if you like what you see, stay hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new video, plus it helps out my channel too. So a couple of hours ago, I released an update video saying that version, stable version, 1.19.0 is just released. What I haven't covered yet on my channel is actually how to update RetroArch. So a lot of systems will literally have a system update button to press, but RetroArch is a little bit different. So what we're going to do first is just head over to the RetroArch website, and if I scroll down, I need to find the version which I'm going to be using. So a lot of you might be aware that I prefer the portable version, which is going to be for you either the download version, 64-bit, or the download 32-bit. Both of these are portable, which means they'll go into a single folder very easy. Whereas the installer versions, they'll literally install to your C drive, for example. So I've downloaded the 64-bit version portable, and I've got it just there. It's in a retrowatch.7zip. So what I'm going to do with this is just locate where RetroArch is on my hard drive and here it is just here and what I need to do is go into the latest stable release of RetroArch and here is all the contents. Now what I'm going to do with this is press Control and A to highlight everything but there's a few folders in there that we want to take away first of all before copy in all of those folders and files into where RetroArch is installed on my computer. So the ones I'm going to take away are going to be states, saves and also the system folder. Now, entirely up to you, but I got some saves and I also got some system configurations, which I don't want this getting rid of. So just as a precaution, take away those folders. And what we're gonna do next is just literally drag and drop everything into where your RetroArch original installation is. Now this can take a little bit of time, Okay, and during this process, what we're going to do, it will likely say the destination has blah 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 files with the same names. What we're going to do is actually replace the files in this destination to copy the new installation files in. Okay, so once everything's been copied across, what we're going to do next is actually open up RetroArch. So, RetroArch.exe. Now, if you've done this correctly, we should now see version 1.19.0. And as we can see in the bottom left-hand corner, it says 1.19.0. Now, obviously, RetroArch for me is going to look very different to most people out there because I've customized this. Now, if you want your RetroArch looking like this, I totally recommend checking out my playlist where you can actually funk up RetroArch. And that's it for today's RetroWatch and how to update RetroWatch setup guide. Like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.